Atkins Johnson Farm and Museum sits on the east side of Gladstone, a valuable piece of Clay County history. But take a closer look and you'll see something very new here. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's a produce stand and customers are lining up. We've had sweet corn that we started a little over a week ago. We normally have 150 to 200 dozen a day and uh, we've been selling out every day. That sweet corn, along with sunflowers and some honey, are being produced right here on the farm. It's a joint project with the city and it's being called Big Shoal Farm. Gladstone recently purchased 20 acres surrounding the museum. Supporters of the historic site thought, let's farm the land and use the profits to support more projects. And it's working. There are two other produce stands like this one operating six days a week. But it's not just about the money, there's a bigger goal. Really to tell a story about agriculture, get kids interested in agriculture and let people know the technology of agriculture. Because we're going to have 10 billion people to feed in the next few years and we need more people in agriculture to, to accomplish that. Suter hopes this popular sweet corn brings more attention to the farm and museum and more interest in agriculture. If we can create some interest within the city and hopefully keep this going in successive years, you know, I'll be pleased.